Senate Bill 5855 on third reading and final passage remarks. Senator Lovely. Thank you so much, Mr. President. I look at the makeup of this body at this point and how much it has changed over the years. As I walk through the halls of this institution, see the photographs of the people who have served before my time, I am often struck at uh, how few young folks, how few people of color, how few women have served in this institution. And the reason why I have brought this bill forth today is to cover a very important piece of our lives as elected representatives, and that is that we spend countless hours on the campaign trail in the House every other year and in this chamber every four years. And I will say, uh, last year was the first year I had off the campaign trail. The previous four years, I had had to run for a city council race, a freeholder race, two races here in the Senate. And my kids got very used to what we called van dinner. So van dinner was when mom was on the road going to another campaign event and had to bring the kids along. And they've gone to countless meetings through the years. So what this bill does, Mr. President, is it explicitly ensures that people who want to run for office have the ability to pay for childcare or other dependent expenditures using their campaign funds. This might be a disabled family member that they need to care for. This may be a parent or another elder in their home that they need to care for. But Mr. President, if we truly want to build the bench of representation in this democracy, if we want to truly have young single moms like myself, moms who might have another baby here real soon serving in this chamber. We have to be able to provide the resources within those campaigns to be able to pay for those expenses. Because Mr. President, this is an expensive job to have. It's an expensive job to get paid the salary we do in this chamber, and it's even more expensive when we're on the campaign trail and we do not get compensated at all. And so, Mr. President, I commend this bill to this body. I, do, I know that there may be some, some mixed votes uh, out there, but I really do hope that we can support this notion that parents and people who are caregivers in their homes belong at the table in the halls of this institution. We need those people's voices at the table to tell about the matters that are important to them, that reflect the communities that they represent, and open up the doors of our institution for people to serve. I thank you very much, and I hope you will support this legislation.